Greetings. This week we're talking about strange doctrines and we are establishing some criteria on how to evaluate the preaching and the teaching of the Word to make sure that it is the way God wants it to be and that it is not some strange doctrine being peddled to us from the pulpit. Because we said from Hebrews 13 and verse 9 that various and strange doctrines are like feeding our hearts with bad food that could destroy us. The third criteria that I want to present to us is wholesome. Is the preaching and the teaching of God's Word wholesome? You see, what do you mean? Is a word being expounded in order to teach, convince, correct, rebuke, instruct, and equip? That's a wholesome way of presenting the Word of God. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, he said, All Scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable or is useful for doctrine, that's the teaching, for reproof, that is to give conviction, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So what is the Word of God to be used for? It is for teaching, it is for bringing conviction in the hearts of people, giving them strength, uh, for correcting people so that we say, okay, that's wrong and this is right. This is the way God wants us to walk in. For instruction, right, righteousness, or right living, how to live right. So is the Word of God, the ministry of the Word, wholesome, addressing all of these so that you can be complete, mature, and equipped for every good work. In Titus 1 and verse 9, Paul said, Holding fast the faithful word as he, as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and convict those who contradict. So Paul is telling, talking about the man of God to hold fast what he has been taught, to maintain sound doctrine. So that's what we've got to look for, a wholesome ministry of the word and the preaching and the teaching that includes instruction in righteousness, correction, bringing conviction, sound doctrine, so that people are brought to a place of maturity, completeness. That's another criteria. Is the preaching and the teaching that you're listening to wholesome from the Word of God? Remember, diverse and strange doctrines are like having bad food. They can trouble you, eventually destroy you. Wholesome teaching of the Word, ministry of the Word, is what you look for. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your Word. It's pure, it's holy. Help us, Lord, to be discerning and when we hear the ministry of your Word, to receive wholesome teaching of your Word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.